Who wouldn't want to be an astronaut? Launching in a rocket, floating in microgravity, viewing the Earth from the unique perspective of space. Little wonder more than 22,500 people from across 22 ESA member states and three associate member states have applied for this opportunity. ESA is also investigating the opportunities for astronauts with physical disabilities. 257 candidates have applied for this new program. Selected astronauts could be among the first humans in 50 years to go beyond low Earth orbit. Our goal is to have by 2030 a first European walking on the moon. Now, this might not be one of the new class astronauts, it might still be one of the, the older class of, of 2009, but we are not just aiming for one mission to the moon, we are aiming for a sustainable lunar exploration program. So I'm sure that uh, some of those young people that uh, will join the astronaut corps now uh, will have the opportunity one day to walk on the moon. But the selection process is going to be tough. Those who get through the initial screening will undergo medical, psychological and psychometric tests before a two-stage interview process, culminating in an interview with the ESA Director General. To ensure a fair and thorough process, this will all take at least 18 months. It's a long process and there's going to be gaps in between each selection phase while the results are analysed and which candidates are taken forward to the next phase. So yes, I would say that people need uh, a, a good dose of patience in this process. Spaceflight has changed a lot since the first astronauts were chosen more than 60 years ago. They still need to be academically qualified and have a good level of physical fitness. But today, it's not so much the right stuff as the right attitude. They have to be good team players, they have to be able to get along with people. You can imagine up in space in close confinement with others for several months at a time. They have to have good conflict resolution skills, be able to tackle conflicts before they really become a conflict and get along well with people. It's very important. Astronauts spend most of their time on Earth, supporting missions, studying and training for their next assignment or taking part in outreach programs. Once on a mission, most of the time is spent on experiments, equipment maintenance and exercise. There's not much time to stare out of the window. In 2022, Samantha Cristoforetti will take command of the International Space Station. At the moment, she's the only active female ESA astronaut. But in this latest recruitment round, more women have applied than ever before. Not many will ever get to experience this view. But for the thousands of applicants who don't make it, there are plenty more opportunities in space. We have a lot of very interesting jobs in other domains coming up in the coming years. So keep an eye on our careers at ESA website. And if you don't make it to become an astronaut, apply for something else.